Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Visual Studio. Here we are. Um, you have probably already downloaded it from the website. You can see easily how to do it here. I'm going to assume that you've already done that. Uh, now I'll open it up. This is how we do it in Linux. And when it opens up, you can see a bunch of different areas. <clears throat> this is called the activity bar and has a bunch of icons in it that are really important and we'll learn about them more later. This here is the sidebar. This is the editor area and there will be um, right now there's just one editor pane open but I can I believe split it like that pretty easily and now there are two. Um, <clears throat> and below the editor pane is this really cool area that um, serves different functions. Um, right now I have a terminal open in it and this is just like the terminal that you would normally have in your um, uh, uh, in a separate uh, program like for instance sorry here's the terminal that I, terminal that I normally use um, and here's the um, the same terminal just running from inside of Visual Studio Code. Um, this is the debug console. We can talk about that later. The output is a place that um, we may be using later in the future, I hope. And sometimes when problems occur, you can see them here. All right, so probably you want, you are working um, on the first assignment, assignment zero, and I have here a copy of it that I've downloaded for myself. Um, and you can see that if, as long as I have this pane open, the um, this is called the file explorer, <clears throat> I can see a list of all the files and I can easily double click on any of these and the <clears throat> it will open up in a tab in the editor area and I can work on it. Um, now, if I were you, I would start by opening up template.json and saving it as a new file, and I would call it my GitHub ID, whatever your GitHub ID is, .json. As it happens, I already have one with my GitHub ID, uh, titaniumbones.json. Um, and here's all my information. Uh, so <clears throat> I want to explain to you a little bit about how the uh, basic process works for Git, and then I'm going to show you how installing a few other things can help make the experience a little bit easier. So here I have um, a you know a bunch of information and maybe what I've decided is I don't really like what it says here for academic interests maybe I have some other interests like say digital humanities as well so so I'm just gonna add that there and I'm gonna save it just by pressing control s now it's been saved but git doesn't know uh, what I want to do with those changes so I'll um, switch to the source control tab in the sidebar. It's this one here. Um, and it will show me what the cha what changes have been made. Some change has been made to uh, index.html. Uh, oh, there's, there's been an improvement that this empty uh, CSS instruction has been removed. That's good. Um, but really, the only ones that I care about are the ones in titaniumbones.json. So what I'm going to do is discard the changes in index.html. So I'm not interested in them anymore. And now we only have one file that has changes. It's my titaniumbones.json. Let's take a look here, and we can see what the difference is in red on one side and green on the other. And it'll show you what what it'll highlight the text that's been changed. I want to accept those changes and eventually commit them to Git. So uh, I'm going to um, 
click on this plus button, which will do perform this step, which is called staging changes in Git. What that means is that I'm approving these changes to be committed. They haven't. They they won't be committed yet. So I'm going to stage those changes. Um, and now you can see that this is changed from unstaged changes to to staged changes. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually commit them. And I believe I do that here. Commit all. So I, I click on this uh, three dots um, menu button. I'm going to press commit all. Every time you make a commit you have to you have to say something about it. In this case what I'm going to say is added digital humanities to academic interests. I'm going to press enter. My changes have now been saved, committed, but they have not yet been pushed to um, to the the uh, repository in the cloud, which is where they need to live eventually. So I can push from a couple different places. I can do it from here, push, and I believe I can also do it here, synchronize changes that will both push and pull. So let's see what happens if I do it here. I'm going to say, okay, don't show again. Okay, great. And now we can see the changes have disappeared because there's no difference between the saved files and the versions that have been committed to Git. So we're all in good shape. Everything's been done. That is all you really need to do in order to um, to finish the assignment. So actually, why don't I stop here for a second and come back in a moment with some new ideas.